I don't want to do is to look back on my wedding pictures and be like, oh my God, I didn't like her anymore. Oh, it's officially four o'clock, so your girl is off the clock. There are a few that are, I really know are airheads. I think the body is body and like I think I look good. I'm gonna be on my little wifey shit tonight. You remember when your mama used to say, take the uh, chicken out the freezer before she get home? I look like Benny Hanna over here. Like, you know how Benny Hanna be having all those trays of like vegetables and stuff when they come to the table? Very simple. <laughs> but listen y'all, before I met him, I was a whole pescatarian. Like he literally turned my life upside down. It's not something that I have to do right now. I tried to make it myself and it's gonna look nothing like it. Alexa, set a timer for 15 minutes. Good morning, Sierra. 15 minutes, starting now. Hey guys, welcome back to another day in my life. So your girl has been up since 3 a.m. today and I just kind of started my morning a little bit different today. I started it more slow. I started it off with God, started it off with praying and listening to this book I've been listening to. And it's called The Prayer Circle. And it's like a 40 day challenge of praying and my church has been doing this since the first of the month. And they were saying like the book was available after service. But like, if y'all know anything about one community in Dallas, that campus be popping. And I'll be just trying to get out the church parking lot when it's over. So I just didn't go get the book. And something in my spirit was telling me like, get the book, get the book. So one of my coworkers actually goes there too. And she called me and she was just talking about the book. She was like, you didn't get it? And I'm like, no. And I just kind of felt bad because I didn't go get the book. So she's like, you need to get that book ASAP. It's just so transformative. It teaches you how to pray or looks at your prayer life very different. So I'm like, okay, I bought the book and I'm only on, I think I'm on day six or day seven. Mind you, it's 40 days and we're in the 23rd day of the month. So I'm behind, so I'm trying to catch up. But it's so good, guys. There's so many gems like in this book. And I got the audio book, but I decided that I'm going to still buy the actual book just so I can have the words like in hard copy for me to kind of look back at. And I'm just going to stay home today and really just kind of focus on myself and really figure out and hear from God and figure out what I'm supposed to be doing in this season of my life. It is officially 8.30 a.m. So my corporate girly duties 
have to start. I need to log in and check my email and all that good stuff. But guys, like, look how cute it came out. So this is my little spin on avocado toast. But I use a hash brown to make it more friendly to the thyroid girlies or the gluten-free girlies because like, I don't know, I just, I can't do the gluten and I still do the gluten and I pay for it every time I have the gluten. But instead of having toast, I just have a hash brown. A hash brown tastes better than toast anyway to me. So yeah, let me go ahead and log into work. So I am running so late for my med spa appointment because my fiance decided to take my keys with him to work. This is the outfit. I'm just gonna throw some Crocs on because I really don't have time and it's raining. So I'm just gonna grab my umbrella and call it a day. The people at my apartment are literally like, I really think that they're all airheads, but there are a few that are, I really know are airheads. Like every time I have to go to the leasing office, everybody just acts fucking dumb like i i don't understand it like i went down there and i'm like um i need a spare key because my um my fiance took my key to work and i have an appointment and i need to go and i mean this probably is protocol but she was like do you have an id i've gotten a spare key at least five I've gotten a spare key at least five other times and I've never had to show my ID. And I'm like, you know I live here. You see me all the time. Now, I know people might say like, oh, they don't remember you. But like when I tell you I always get spare keys, I always get spare keys because like at one point I was living by myself. So my mom would have to get a spare key to come let my dog out. And like, I would just get the spare key. I would call and say, I'm coming to get a spare key. And they would have it ready for me. But this this girl was like, oh, I need an ID. And I'm like, okay. One, we pay thousands. Like, I pay $2,000 for rent. And everything is always broken. Like, the elevator is broken. The gate has been broken since I don't know when. Like, and if we're supposed to live in a secure neighborhood, privacy, gate. The gate been fucking broke for months at this point but anywho so i'm sitting here waiting i'm like okay so you want me to walk all the way back to my apartment your elevators don't work to go get an id i know it's probably the safest thing to do but it just really pissed me off and what made it the absolute worst is she said can i keep your id why the f would i let you keep my id i just said i'm going to an appointment do you think I'm gonna be driving around with an without my ID? Are you crazy? Like, make it make sense. If I am about to leave my house, why would I be leaving my house without an ID? So I just pulled up to the place. So I just got back from my um, appointment at the med spa, and I went because I'm. They're having a special on their body contouring. And I've always been a person where I'm like, oh, I'm gonna try to do it myself, I'm trying to do it myself. But like, I'm 100% sure I can get my body together myself, but baby, these arms, they look good in this jacket because it's the jacket, but like my arms are my literal like problem area. So she actually did the machine on me today and I'm really, really thinking about it. Only thing is, so she said for me to really see results just because I have like a lot of like um, fat on my arm and like the skin is loose. So this machine, I think it's called like, um, I forgot what it's called. It's like EM Sculpt. And so this machine burns fat, contracts and builds your muscle and tightens your skin all at the same time so i told her like i'm getting married and like my arms are the only thing that i honestly would like try to get like some extra help for just because like i've gotten really small before and the arms just were still looking like 200 pounds so i'm like i weigh 145 and i look like i have arms 
that belong on somebody who's 250. So, but she said like a lot of women, like that's their problem area, their arms. So she has a lot of women who come in and do arms. So right now they have a special that is half off pretty much. So it's 6,000 for 12 sessions, but I'm really, really thinking about it because what I don't want to do is to look back on my wedding pictures and be like, oh my God, I hate my fucking arms. Like, I don't want to look back and feel like that. So why not invest in this? And the thing is like, people could say like, oh, just work out, oh, do this. I work out every fucking day. I do need to figure out how to get this protein in though because she did tell me, she's like, cause I told her, I'm like, girl, I work out every day. But I'm like, but I don't eat meat. And she was like, that's going to be hard for you to maintain your muscle mass. I'm like, I'll do Pilates. But like, honestly, I wouldn't say like, um, I feel like I look pretty decent. But um, honestly, I know it could be like better if I was eating like protein and stuff. So what I think I might do is um, I eat fish from time to time, like if I go out. The only thing is my fiance is allergic to fucking fish, so I can't even really cook fish anymore. Cause from time to time I would cook fish, especially like if I was working out a lot. But um I need a hair clip. But uh yeah, so he allergic and he lives here now, so it's like no, I'm like, okay, what am I gonna do? But I thought about they have like these basically like electric grills that you can put on your patio. So I'm honestly thinking about doing that and just cook my fish outside because I want to be toned. I want to have the muscle and I need to make sure that I'm eating right. Like I eat good, but I don't eat enough protein and I work out like fucking crazy. Like today, I'm already at 734 calories burned. It's only noon. Like just imagine how much more movement I'm going to have throughout today. So I don't know. But I don't really think about it. I'm gonna call my mom and see what she says. Cause I know my fiance gonna say no, but I'm gonna ask my mom and see what she thinks because he doesn't understand because his arms are tight. And like, I, I, will, I work my arms and it's like, there's, you just saw them. You just saw them. So I don't know, but I'm really thinking about it. The, uh, the nurse there, what is it? I guess like a nurse practitioner. She was so nice, so informative. I had asked her about like, something to do i'm like if i want to do something to my face can we have a consultation and she was like yeah but i don't think i'm gonna do anything to it um i just kind of feel like this side of my face is um i don't know it's something with this side of my face so she was kind of saying like she could do an eyebrow lift but i kind of read like that shit is not good i was just like eh, okay but she also said we could possibly do some Botox. So my fiance would kill me if he heard me talking about this stuff. <laughs> but listen, I want to be like flawless. Like on my wedding day, I want me to be looking at my pictures like perfection. Um, anywho, yeah, that is yeah we shall see so i think i've come to my senses and i'm thinking <sighs> this is not something that i have to do right now i feel like what i kind of want to do is like really just kind of focus on my nutrition for the next few months and kind of just see where it lands me see where it lands me. I think the body is body in. Like, I think I look good. Oh, my fucking caps hurt so bad. Y'all, this, this steering master and Pilates. But like, I mean, obviously I could lose some, but like, I don't really have like a defined role. Like, it's literally like, I just need to clean up the eating so I think I'm gonna focus 
focused on nutrition and really feeding my muscles before I go pay for something. And honestly, like if the wedding is not until August 2025, why am I, like I can wait till next fucking January when they have their special game, right? It's officially four o'clock, so your girl is off the clock. Um, I'm gonna be on my little wifey shit tonight because I'm gonna cook for my man. Um, and I don't know, cooking lately here is just feeling like such a daunting task. But he sent me a little side eye video about how he's supposed to be treated after he get the ring. So I'm gonna cook him some dinner tonight. Um, I did pick up some salmon. I'm gonna cook it out, out on the um out on the the balcony i'm gonna take my air fryer out there and just cook it out there because he's allergic but when i went to the med spot today she told me i need my protein so i'm gonna get my protein in um but yeah i think i'm gonna do like uh zucchini onions and mushrooms and then maybe do I might even throw some like and chop some asparagus up and throw it in there and kind of like do a nice little stir fry with that. And then I think I'm gonna do some mashed potatoes, like homemade mashed potatoes whipped in the um, KitchenAid. And I think that'll be a solid little dinner. Um, you got some chicken. Um, <laughs> you remember when your mama used to say, take the uh, chicken out the freezer before she get home? Well, it's 4 o'clock, and I just not took this damn chicken out the freezer. So, we're going to let that unthaw, but I think I'm going to go ahead and start at least prepping everything else for dinner. And then after that, I really need to sit down and edit this video. Not this one. It's another video that's going to go up tomorrow, which is Wednesday. And finish up one of my clients' websites, or at least get her wireframe started. So, yeah. I need to do that tonight. So, I need to go ahead and... um finish dinner a little bit early so I can work on that until I pretty much get tired. Um, I usually do like two workouts a day if I feel like it and I don't feel like it today. Um, I like to burn a thousand active calories a day but I'm at 890. So I'm sure the more I walk around tonight I'll be at a thousand before bed. So yeah. So, Target. Sorry, I got a used face on in the back. I hope it's not too loud. But Target sells this salmon that has like the crab stuff in it. And on the app, they said they had it. When I got to the store, they didn't have it. So I tried to make it myself, and this don't look nothing like it. But it tastes all right, so we will see uh, what the final um, thing looks like once I like <laughs> once I like stuff the salmon with this. Oh my god! But yeah, I wanted to make this before he got here, just in case it was kind of like fishy in the air. <laughs> but listen, y'all. Before I met him, I was a whole pescatarian. Like he literally turned my life upside down with my eating. I ain't gonna hold you up because I'm like.
So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna at least chop all this up just so I can have it ready to just cook. Um, as far as everything else, I think it should be fine. Mashed potatoes don't take too long to cook, so. Yes, I'm just gonna kind of make a little stir fry situation with this. Uh, I also I bought some mushrooms to go in there, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean all this stuff off, chop it, and just get my life together so I can have dinner for my kids. Um, and figure out what way I really want to cook this. At first, I wanted to do a stir fry, but I think I might cook these mushrooms with his chicken or cook the mushrooms with the asparagus. I thought I wanted them all together, but I think I'm going to cook the asparagus separate as well. Um, so we'll see what the final outcome is. I'm feeling like Benihana over here. Like, you know how Benihana be having all those trays of like vegetables and stuff when they come to the table? So. So we got all our veggies on this nice little tray. Eat the rainbow. So um yeah. We got everything nice and prepped, nice and ready. <sighs> I'm just debating do I wanna do this asparagus. I already opened it, so I might as well cook it. This bitch can't do. <laughs> I need more sour cream.
so this one is mine and this one is his i didn't end up making my salmon because i just kind of ran out of time and then um this is it edit this vlog for tomorrow and eat and then i still have to work on this girl's website so i'm gonna be up pretty late tonight so